and need some help. Can you imagine if um, Mayor Bloomberg had taken half the money that he just spent on his failed campaign and put it towards and, and had it for right now to give away? He still has that to give away. And he still has it to give away, and plenty of it. He just spent $500 million to be in the presidential campaign for a month. So imagine what he could do right now. You say Because in theory, and I'm sorry, this is not political. This is a human statement. In theory, you're running for president to make the country better, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you still have that money, and the country's in desperate need. NCAA has canceled the men's and women's basketball tournaments, and March Madness just came in. Wow. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. So th they, they use the word cancel. Yes. So cancel. not even postpone. Why is, why is that? That's interesting because why not postpone? Now, I don't know because the there's whole... Because no, there's, no, there's, no, there's no goal line, Don. Nobody knows when this is going to end. Yeah, but, but you can... Things could be better in a couple of weeks that you could then play it. Like, if you cancel it, it's over. It's done. But at least if you postpone, maybe there's information that comes out. That's what all these sports are hoping. The the NBA and the NHL didn't cancel their seasons. They postponed them. Yeah, but I think I mean, that's smart play, people, you, you, though, Don. You know, the CDC, it's not just going to go away. This is a long-term thing that's going to take a lot of things going the right way to even make it shorter term. So I, I think everybody realizes this probably is not going to be over by April. Well, but not over by April, but if we have a little bit more information that allows us to progress forward, what, what would be the problem with playing the NCAA tournament in July? I mean, the they're, kids under, are out of school. they're in summer break. Kids they're are out of school. school. I, th I understand they're out of school. but They'll be drafted in the NBA. Yeah, they wouldn't even want to play. Well, then you, you, you get to that point. That where you're all right. We've we've crossed that line now. We can't. We I'm can't surprised. Play it, but you, you, get, you couldn't play it in, in in May or June. Do we know definitively that over the next six weeks there's no way that there can be games? I don't think they know anything definitively except that this is going to be longer term than we would like it to be. Yeah, I mean there has to be a reason. Obviously, there's so much money on the line here. This was clearly. Well, let's talk it's through. very difficult because you're talking about building availabilities. There's a lot of moving parts, but all I know is is that you just went from, you know, zero to 100. We went from what's going to happen, are they going to play in front of empty buildings, they haven't made an announcement yet, to canceling. Why How about Hofstra? you just announce postpone, and then if you had to cancel down the road, you cancel down the road? How about Hofstra? Dream season, they get an NCAA tournament bid, it's over. There's no tournament. I mean, there's a lot of stories like that. There's no tournament. So we criticized them two days ago. The Ivy League was ahead of the curve. They usually are. They usually are. We were talking, why don't they play in front of empty buildings? Well, that's not going to happen anywhere. So the Ivy League was right. They were right before anybody was right. You know what was right?